point on your return back to, to League Two? Or what was your assessment of that one? Yeah, obviously one, we wanted to get the three points today, but um, what I would say is uh, we come up uh, against a, a very resilient uh, Tranmere side who, who really worked hard and got uh, definitely, um, you know, um, bodies behind the ball and made it stuffy at times and um, that was that, that summed the game up really. Yeah, yeah, you played some really good stuff, particularly in, in mm. the first half. You went you went close a number of occasions as well. It, you never really had that real until Sam Hoskins hit right at the end, that real clear cut chance did you is you were close but it, you just couldn't quite penetrate it. No, it's part of the game, it was fine margins at times and um, I thought uh, you know, we've moved Sam into midfield in the end, um, to keep your, your top goal scorer on and uh, I thought the cross from him, um, I thought Hilt should have got on the end of it, uh, to be honest, I, I really did. And maybe that's lack of match practice uh, for him, but um, I, I felt that was one key moment in the game where we, we could have finished him off. But um, what I would say as well in the end of it, um, fair play to uh, Burgi in the first half. I've got to hold my hands up and say that he made two tremendous saves to uh, not let them concede and uh, you know overall um, look at, at seven unbeaten um, really uh, in terms in the league uh, but um, yeah look we want to win that game we want to be creating loads more chances we have 14 shots but um, you know they're a side that don't concede many goals and uh, I thought their two centre halves today were excellent. I thought their whole back four was really, really good and they got into shape very quick and they made it very hard for us to um, break them down at times. Yeah, well, you, you made that point now. I think sometimes we, we can forget this when we're talking to you to say other teams are allowed to play well and, and defend well like uh, yeah. they did and they had their chances as well. Yeah, fair credit to them. Uh, it, you know, we've, we've had 61% possession today uh, and well, what we want to do is be purposeful with our possession and we, we really do and you know today I've got to say you look at the amount of blocks they put on the line and through their bodies uh, at the ball in and around the edge of the box where we've had shots and you've got to give them fair credit at times yes we we could could we be better in incisive moments and a little dummy and slip passes and things like that yeah okay but you've got to give them credit for it and uh, for for the way they defended and the way they worked uh, for each other and um you know 61 percent possession it's not all about that yeah we we want to score but you can see they got into a shape very quickly and it was hard to break down and uh, we've had some some couple of good really good incisive moments but um, just didn't make the best of it today. Just a couple of moments in the match. Uh, there was the one on Kieran Barry, wasn't there? With the, the defender brings him down. It's a yellow card, and obviously the, the keeper as well coming out. The trying to keeper coming out and, and making that challenge, and it's a yellow card. Um, do, you, do you agree with those? Should, should it be a yeah, yellow ball? card. I agree with it. Um, there were there were two men behind the ball. Um, so referees, I'll hold my hands up. Got it well. Uh, got it right today, um, and I'm honest about that. Just the ball didn't feel, uh, fall right to Hilt. It hits Louis and. If it, if it bounces just true, Hiltz would have had a clean shot at goal and it could have, you know, outside of the foot, put it in the net because the recovering defenders weren't round. Um, but um, ah, look, it's not to be, it didn't, didn't fall the right way. Um, what I will credit my players with is they worked extremely hard today and, um, you know, we're, we're, they're all extremely disappointed in there today and we wanted to put on a show, but you got, Big two's tough, and uh, what we've done, we've got another point. We've moved forward. We've created a gap from third to fourth. Uh, it's five points now. Am I right? So, look, you know, all positive for me. Um, just on your squad, um, you can make five steps in, in, in this match with some really positive introductions. <clears throat> Not a nice part of the job, but you haven't been able to leave people out of the squad for a long time mm. as well. Mm. Um, that, that, that must be really pleasing for you at the moment. Well, it was an awful decision I had to make today, and uh, which. which in a way, it's a good decision, but an awful decision. I told Harv how, how bad I felt uh, about leaving him out of the squad today uh, because he's been really good for us. Young lad who's come in, like we say, discarded by another club, but been brilliant for us and really um, will be a good player for now and the future. Uh, and, you know, I've had that first time, I would say, this season, luxury in a way of leaving him out. And I, I told him how um, how, it was a hard, hard, hard one to sleep on last night, uh, and in the end, I, I felt we had the balance right on the bench. And uh, 
look, Josh to come on for 15 minutes. I thought he linked well in off the line and, and, and created those moments. That's his first 15 minutes, you've got to realise, in seven to eight weeks. And for him to come on for 15 minutes and do what he did was good. And, you know, and then played Sam. I, I, I threw uh, caution to win. I really went for the win. and I, I put Sam in the middle of midfield there with the boys. So, uh, and I thought he drove well with the ball. So, look, we, we put a lot of attackers on there in the end. And that was nice to be able to do that. Um, just a final couple. Um, we spoke about it in the week about home form. It, look, it's not it's not bad at all. It, of course, it's not bad, but it's not quite as good as your away form. And, and it's the different problems that you face, isn't it? Like today, where teams don't come out at you so much when you have a lot of the ball and you have to break them down. It, it's that kind of next evolution. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Look, what is it? Still fourth or fifth in the league, no, you know? Really, and, exactly. and and so I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Look, on another day, uh, you know. They might score one, but we might score two. Um, they're a good side. Let's not disrespect Tranmere. Like I said all along, uh, they're, they're at minimum top seven for me, uh, fighting to get in the top three. And uh, look, last year we did the double over them. Uh, this year we we haven't haven't got the result we desired, but um, they're, a, they're a very strong side. So um, look, uh, the home form, it doesn't concern me one bit um, at all. And look, we're, uh, we're third in the league, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, okay. So just remind everyone of that, Jake, as well. Um, just finally, away from here, big match tonight. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, Australia, Argentina, uh, how are you feeling how that one? Right, I think I need Lee Burge <laughs> and our current goalkeeper in goal uh, for us to get a result. But um, I, I wouldn't say you never know in football. I think the inevitable is going to happen. We've already won. Uh, uh, by getting through to the final 16 but um, look um, wow uh, if we got through I, I can't see it me and I hate to be a pessimist but um, there you go uh, come on England tomorrow night yeah, yeah. Well, we should All right. thank All you good. thanks Cheers. boys